Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Rajati from We All Learn Today. Today's video, I am going to explain the tools which is available in the Macromedia Flash Professional 8. So the first one is selection tool. So before that, for example, I just take this oval. So by using the selection tool, we can select the full object or we can select the partial object or we can move the object and the final one is this is the line tool we can curve this line by using the selection tool so these are the ways by using the selection tool so second one is sub selection tool so this is nothing but when I select the object by using the sub selection tool, it has some anchor points by using the using this. I can change the shape. Yeah, using this I can change the shape. So next one is free transform tool. So just click free transform tool. By using this free transform tool, I can resize the object. I can rotate the object. And I can skew this object too. So this all is done by using this center point. If I just move this to down means now the rotation will be different. I hope you will see the difference. So this is the rotation way. If I make this center point position here means now the rotation will be different. So the point is, the center point is made. The rotation skew all is done depends on the center point. So next one is gradient transform tool. So which is nothing but this is the gradient effect. For before we can use this. I have to select the gradient color only. I can't, I can't select the solid color for this uh, gradient tool form. So, which is gradient tool form, I can change the effect. I hope you will see. So, I can change. So, I will select this color for better understanding. I can rotate it. I can move this to down. So we can make changes even the gradient option. So next one is line tool which is uh, nothing but we can draw the line. And next one is laser tool. So in selection tool we can select any object in the rectangle or square shape. So this laser tool we can select by using the hand. I can select particular portion. So next one is pen tool. This is illustration. If I make this point means again I click it automatically make the line. That's it. And uh, Next one is text tool. By using the text tool, we can add text here. So I just move it. So in the text tool, I can change the font. I can change any font.
I can change the font. I can change the color also. So before do any changes, I have to select the whole option. Then only the changes will be appear. For example, I just select. If I make this color to green, means it won't apply because I I'm not selected it. So first I have to select the whole object, and then I can change the color. Now the colors will be appear. So I can change the font. I can increase the size. and i can change the color i can bold it italic these are the alignments left alignment center alignment and right alignment this is justified so this is the font text tool so next one is for that i just clear the stage so next on oval so here i can change the fill color and i can change the outline color also i can decide the outline which is solid or dashed and i can customize the thickness also for example i just give 8 this is the preview we can see i can change the solid or dash or dotted now you can see this wait i will zoom i hope you will see this is dotted So next one is rectangle tool. Here the same option we can change the fill color. So before do anything we have to select it. So we can change the fill color and we can change the outline color. Same option. We can change the outline style. We can solid, dash, dotted and we can customize this same option so the small triangle it give another option we can draw polystar so same option we can customize so these are the drawing tools so before that i just clear the stage so these are the drawing tools i can use pencil i can change the color and then brush is also same way I can change the color solid color or I can use the gradient color so these are the drawing tools and then next one is ink bottle this is used to fill the outline color by using the using this I can fill the outline color I hope you will see I just say take this blue color I can by using this I can fill the outline color so next paint bucket this is for inside I can fill the color so next is eyedropper tool this is used to uh, pick the color we can pick any color or filling the option so next one is eraser we can erase it 
by using the eraser tool so we can change the eraser size so by using the eraser tool we can erase everything on this stage so next zoom we can zoom it stage you can see the percentage and we can zoom out so next this is the color this is the outline color and this is the fill color fill color i just give green black so now i can swap the color so the color will be swapped and then i can use this black and white so i can i can give the no color also no outline no fill color so these are the tools available in the macromedia flash 8 and the next video we will see one by one